Uh, let's hop in our tractor here. Start her up and honk the horn. Because that's what you do when you get a brand new tractor. You jump in it and you honk the horn. Isn't this a beaut? I love it. wise man once said, to forget how to dig the soil, and the earth, is to forget ourselves. Well, maybe some have, but a few of us still know. You gotta be willing to put in the time, make the sacrifices, and the hard choices. The job's got its perks, don't get me wrong. The sweet smell of the morning dew, the way the warm sun and the cool breeze can dance across your skin. But don't think it's a game. The farm's got a way of sorting the wheat from the chaff. Just remember to keep your wits about you. You fall, you get back up again. Because this is more than just a job. It's a calling. Who else would choose to wake up early in the morning, tear up their hands working in the fields all day, and then spend the evening planning how they're going to do it all over again, better tomorrow? Day after day. Season after season. Year after year. That's a calling that's never ending. It stretches far forward and back from us as long as farmers have been tending this earth. And farmers will be around as long as such a thing exists. Tomorrow is secured by those willing to dirty their hands today. So when you feel alone out there in the field, just remember you're not. Think about all those that have come before you. And all those that'll follow. Plant today. Harvest tomorrow. Welcome everybody to Farm Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and I am very excited to start this new series. I've been wanting to play the Farm Simulator games for quite some time, but uh, just haven't gotten around to doing that uh, up until now for various reasons. And so, yeah, we're going to jump in uh, with Farm Simulator 22 and have some fun in this game. So just a little bit of background uh, about me I do actually have uh, a farming uh, background. I grew up in a farming community in central Washington state. I lived there for many years and um, worked with my father uh, in the hay business, uh, mostly loading hay trucks uh, and hauling hay across the mountains to the Seattle area. And uh, also worked on a dairy farm or yeah, well worked and lived on a dairy farm uh, for a short period of time. And, you know, I'm very familiar in general with, with just the farming lifestyle. Um, I never really got into, you know, using the heavy equipment or stuff like that. So I'm not, I'm not real well versed on that, but you know, I, I definitely understand the culture and, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I've never played this game before, not even any previous version of it. Uh, however, I have been watching some videos just to kind of get a feel for what the game's about. Uh, but I am very new to the game and, um, we'll probably be making lots of mistakes, but that's okay. We're going to have a lot of fun, um, as we go along. Uh, this game seems to lend itself quite a bit to, you know, some some light role play too. So we might do a little bit of that. We're, we won't get too crazy about with that stuff, but we might, you know, um, just introduce that sort of thing uh, into the game. And I'm just going to completely make that up as I go. So <laughs> don't take it too seriously. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, jump right in and and have some fun with this game. Now, um, we're going to go into career mode. We're going to start a new game, and I'm going to do the start from scratch. Start here, and the reason for that is because you know, like I said, I've been watching some videos from various different uh, content creators, and I just feel like, you know, the these two, even the farm manager, just gives you too much to start with. And I can completely get that for new players, but 
I, you know, I'm going to start, uh, do the hard start right from the get-go with a couple of changes because I think I will enjoy the journey the most if we do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do start from scratch. Uh, we are going to use the Elm Creek map, so we, we're basically in the U.S. Uh, Midwest. I thought I heard somebody say on a video that this is in Ohio, but I'm not, sh I'm not 100% sure about that. But anyway, we're going to start there. Uh, there are a couple other maps. I think this one's in France, and this one's somewhere up in the Alps maybe. Um, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future we'll, we'll try a couple of those, but uh, we're going to do Elm Creek. Now, my understanding also is that there's tons of mods for this game, including new maps. So, you know, down the road after we uh, have our inaugural uh, first season here uh, just with the vanilla game, we might try some of that stuff out too. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and load up Elm Creek and start our adventure here. Ride your horses to train them. Training them increases their value. Nice. Okay, uh, I do plan to have some critters and um, at some point, but we're probably going to start uh, at the very uh, start of the game. We'll probably try and get ourselves into the hay business uh, just because that's what I'm most familiar with, first of all, from, you know, in, from real life. But it also seems to be one of the better ways to start out the game. Um, so I already have a, a character here. I did uh, jump in and play a little bit just to make sure everything was working. And yeah, this is what my dude looks like. So um, we are, uh, our name is old, old guy. Uh, how do we, doesn't look like we can change that. Oh no, right here. Change name. Duh. Okay. So we're going to just have everybody call us OG. Okay. So, and, and you can, and you can tell from, you know, OG's, uh, uh, beard and whatnot, you know, he's, he's already uh, a little bit older. He's been working an IT job for, for years and years. And he's finally was able to do an early retirement uh, from that and decided to, you know, to move away to the Midwest uh, with his life savings, which is not a whole lot. It's only five hundred thousand dollars and and just, you know, spend the latter part of his life being a farmer because it's something he's always wanted to do. But he just, you know, didn't have the opportunity to do that until now. So, yeah, that's our, our little backstory. And again, I'm just making this stuff up as I go. Why didn't that... Uh, why didn't that change? Did I just forget to... What? It's not changing. Enter a new name. O-G. Change. I guess we're not going to be OG. We're just going to be old guy. But as people get to know us, they're going to call us OG. All right. So like I said, I've already gone through uh, and, you know, did all the outfit stuff. So we're good to go there. Um... I don't know why that's not changing, but something something doesn't seem to be right, but that's fine. Uh, let's confirm that. And now we are here. So before we uh, get started proper, um, let's open up the help menu here. And we're going to actually look at a couple of settings. Now, I'm not going to go through and read every single thing in the help menu, at least not on camera, but we might read some of this stuff as we go along as we're trying to figure things out. Incidentally, I, w I do definitely welcome, you know, uh, tips uh, in the comments, too, for those of you who are more familiar with the game. Um, definitely, you know, feel free to leave tips, tricks, that sort of thing. Uh, but do keep in mind that, you know, ultimately I play the game the way that I, I enjoy it the most. So if, you know, if, if you don't agree with the way I'm playing the game, you know, you, that's just the way it is. I'm going to play it the way I'm going to play it. But I am very open to your guys' tips and tricks um, and that sort of thing. Uh, but if I don't agree with you, you know, don't argue with me. It's just the way that it is. Okay, enough said about that. <laughs> uh, so let's do some setting stuff. So this is general settings. Um, let's see. I think this is probably all still set the way I had it. So we're basically, you know, we're doing U.S. stuff. So we got dollar miles, Fahrenheit, acres. Uh, we got to keep the radio off because my understanding is there's some copyrighted music on that, and I don't want to get uh, dinged on the channel. And um, I don't know that any of the rest of the stuff is super relevant to to the video. But, you know, we, we can definitely come in here and change stuff as needed if I feel like something needs to be changed. Okay, so um, ma volume master here. Let's let's just turn, whoops, let's turn that up. And radio volume doesn't matter because we have that turn off. Okay, so we will, uh, I guess, save the game at this point to save those settings. Okay, now let's go to game settings. Uh, so we're going to call this... Um, OG's FS22. Okay, and uh, we will keep uh, the uh, the autosave intervals on 15 minutes. We'll, I guess we'll just keep that on there unless it becomes uh, kind of a pain in the neck. 
Uh, time scales at five X. I don't, you know, I don't know if uh, that's too fast or not fast enough. I think we'll just leave that the way that it is, so that you know. And I can again, I can adjust it later if I feel like things are moving too quickly. Uh, see economic difficulties on hard, so affects buying and selling prices. Also, the revenue of contracts is based on this. Uh, traffic is on. Uh, we're going to do seasonal growth days per month. So this, I don't know, this just seems really fast to me. So I don't know, let's, um, let's set that to three days. And then, you know, if, if, again, if we need to adjust that, then we will later. Fixed visual month is off. I think what that means, excuse me, is that we, you know, we make it always look like summer. Um, yeah, see, we can say always look like June, no matter what, but no, we don't want that. We want it to be dynamic. Uh, which means it changes based upon the month. Snow's on, that's good. Crop destruction's on, I think that's realistic. So we have to be really careful. Periodic plowing is on. Field stone is on. Lime required is on. Weeds are on, okay. Uh, dirt, normal, the speed at which your machinery becomes dirty, sure. Automatic engine start. Stop and go braking. Trailer fill limit. This I think I'm going to turn on just because it may not be super apparent to me what the, the fill limit is on some trailers, and I don't want to overload it. Uh, so at least while I'm new to the game and figuring things out, I'm going to keep that on. Fuel usage, I'm going to turn that to normal just because this seems to me like something that's hard for the sake of being hard and not really you know, practical or realistic. And then we're going to keep all of the AI workers off uh, because my understanding is that they'll start spending your money left and right, and we don't want that to happen. Maybe we'll turn them on later on when we, you know, when we're rolling in the dough or something like that. Okay, so those are all the settings here. Um, why is that not? Okay, hold on. OG's FS22. All right, and then press Enter. There we go. All right, let's uh, save these settings here. And I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Uh, so, yeah, the, these little help thingies, if we open them up, um, you know, they, they give us information on various different things. Uh, some of this stuff I, I, I know, uh, I just know in general, even though I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's been over 30 years since I've actually done any agricultural work to speak of. Um, but, and some things I kind of know from watching some other videos and then some things, you know, uh, we're definitely going to have to review. Okay. So, um, let's see. So OG has, uh, arrived here in, um, Elm Creek, Ohio. I guess it's Ohio. We'll just say it is unless I find out otherwise. Um, and so basically what I did was, you know, I, I landed and then I took an Uber uh, out here to Elm Creek and, and they basically dropped me off right here. I'm not exactly sure why they dropped me off right here, but that's where they dropped me off. Uh, let's just say they dropped me off at the gas station over here. Um, so I've got $500,000 to my name. I've got my, my lovely wife back in Colorado. Um, she's staying there for now until I can get a foothold here and get a home and then we'll, we'll move uh, my wife out uh, to to the farm too. Um, and just a quick little side note, I might be able to actually talk her into playing for real and I might uh, start an actual multiplayer server uh, where she and I and other people in my gaming community can play together too. That, that's not for sure yet, but you know, uh, that could happen. So anyway, just a little quick side note there. Uh, so anyway, OG is here at the gas station and um, he knows that the first thing he's got to do is he's got to go uh, down to the shop uh, that sells the equipment and get himself a tractor because without a tractor, he can't do anything else. But you know what? Uh, we are a little bit hungry um, from our flight and stuff. And so we're going to stop off at Mama Joe's Diner and we're going to get ourselves a cheeseburger first. Okay, that was a great burger. Uh, nice and filling and greasy and unhealthy, but very delicious. Just what you might expect, you know, from... Uh, uh, from a small farming town diner. Uh, it was really good. The cherry milkshake was good too. Not so good for my waistline, but it was really good. <laughs> okay, and we talked to Mama Joe there in the diner, and Mama Joe told us that uh, the equipment uh, sales uh, building is down the road a little ways past the firehouse. Uh, so we are now walking down uh, this way. Actually, it looks like we're sprinting. That's okay. We got to work off some of those calories from that cheeseburger that we just ate. And we're going to go and... Um, 
get ourselves some equipment and check. Uh, I've also learned that we can check for contracts uh, at the um, at the place too, and see if there's somebody that's looking for work. So hopefully we can. Excuse me. Uh, hopefully we can. Um, you know, find a job right off the bat here and get all the stuff that we need for. I'm just going to pretend like I didn't even see that deer levitating in the air. And uh, yeah, so let's head on over here to the the shop. Here we are at Clever Motors. Okay, so OG is going to go on inside, I guess the doors over here. And talk to the salesperson and see uh, what deals might be available for getting ourselves a tractor and getting some work going. So the first thing actually we're going to do is we're going to go to... Um, here, let's get away from that for a second. What does this tell us? Saving content, please don't turn off your computer. Spending money. You can purchase new vehicles and tools from the vehicle shop. Yeah, okay. We're already kind of familiar with all of this or I am anyway so um, all right the first thing we want to do is we want to go into here and we want to look for contracts which I think are here currently no contracts available really oh that's not good okay um hmm well let okay let's do this then let's go into here we know we're gonna need a tractor and the first thing we want to do is we want to see if they have anything for sale uh, so looks like we've got some kind of a maybe a an animal trailer or something. Conti Hybrid HT3. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a, a livestock trailer, which obviously we don't need right now. Ooh, we got ourselves a McCormick tractor at 51% off. That we need to look at. Uh, what is this? This is a multi-row something or other. Um, from Case. It looks like some kind of harvester thingamadoodle. Maybe for corn? I'm not really sure. I'm not familiar with all this stuff. So, uh, But definitely not something I think we need right now. And this, What is this? This is some kind of a tank. Meadow Roller Vario. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a tank of some sort, obviously, but I'm not sure what it does and probably not something we need right now. But this, however, is something we should think about. So this is a McCormick tractor. It's an X7 VT drive. And it's a nice looking piece of machinery, that's for sure. And I think it's a probably considered a medium sized tractor. Now, I probably would buy a small tractor to start with, but since this guy's on sale for less than a hundred grand, uh, we should probably strongly consider getting this because you know this tractor could last us for quite some time before we'd have to upgrade. So it already has 190 horsepower. So I think the first thing we would want to do we want a front loader attachment. Excuse me. So that adds fifteen hundred dollars to this, and then we probably want to bump the horsepower up maybe a little bit. How much is that going to cost? Ooh, that's expensive. Okay. It can go all the way to 240. And then now that makes it 109,000. So uh, I think we can change this after the fact. So why don't we just go with... Uh, let's, bump, let's bump it up to 210 horsepower. Okay. And... Then, okay, so we got the front loader, uh, the wheels. We have different wheel configurations here. I think we'll just go with standard wheels. And then as far as the brand, does that change the cost? So what is this? This is Michelin. That's Continental. Midas. Those are cool looking wheels. BKT. Uh, Vredstein, Redstein, Vredstein. Not sure how, if that's how you pronounce that. Oh, these are kind of, look at the tread on those, man. Those are kind of cool looking. Um, those are Neu, Nakasen tires, maybe? I don't know. Let's just, let's just keep it on the default Trelleborg. 
I don't know if the tires really matter a whole lot or if they're just a visual thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, so that brings the price up to ninety-four thousand. Um, we can change. Does the color add to the price? That makes it kind of more of a dark red. No, let's just keep it the default uh, color. Ooh, I like the darker rims though. Yeah, let's go with the darker rims. And then uh, license plate. So uh, type one, type two. Okay, so do I just have to, how do I do this? This is set up like controller. 300 O G wait no O G No, I know what we'll do. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, let's go um O why was it does it, Oh, does that have to be a number? Those have to be a number. Okay. So let's go um uh, zero six seven and then O G S old guys <laughs> placement no plate wait what oh front end I gotcha okay um let's just put it on the back only gotcha okay space okay all right, you guys. Well, this is going to take a huge chunk of money out of our uh, our balance, but I think I have a feeling like this tractor is going to serve us well for quite some time. Um, so I don't know if this is a mistake, if we're biting off already too much more than we can chew, but we're going to do it. Um, so let's buy our new McCormick. Yes, I want to purchase this for 94000 keeping in mind that we got this sucker for half price. That's amazing. Okay. Now, now that we have a tractor, there she is. She's a beauty, man. Look at that thing. I love it. I love it. Now that we have a tractor, does that open up any contracts for us? Hmm. Okay. I don't know how to, I don't know how we get contracts to appear. Uh, cause without that, I'm not sure what else I can do. Um, Let's go into the map. Obviously, we're going to want to get our own field at some point. And those are crop types, soil composition, hotspots. Is it tell us what's for sale? Production, animals, contracts. That, uh, that doesn't do anything. Crop types. Okay, it doesn't really tell us what's for sale. So uh, this, this, this is our finances screen. Currently no contracts available. See, here's the thing. I don't want to um I don't want to buy more equipment until I have a contract so I know what that contract wants me to do. Um like for example, I don't want to purchase a bunch of haying equipment and then have a contract that wants me, you know, to um harvest a wheat field kind of idea. So I don't know. I guess we probably just have to wait for a period of time before the contracts become available. It's weird that there aren't any. Maybe it's just a random thing. I don't know. Well, crap. Okay. We have our tractor. Uh, let's hop in our tractor here. Start her up and honk the horn. Because that's what you do when you get a brand new tractor. You jump in it and you honk the horn. Isn't this a beaut? I love it. Uh, this gives us the internal view. Oh, man, this is cool. Look at like it's got joysticks and it's got a digital readout. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so let's take our tractor for a spin. Maybe if we, you know, drive it down the road for a little bit. And then... Um, you know, get, wait just a little, for a little bit of time, a contract will become available. Because uh, other than that, I don't know what else to do at this point in terms of, you know, we got to start making some money somehow. I don't see. Okay, here we go. Toggle lights. So F is lights. Toggle light, reverse, left, shift, F. Toggle beacon lights is the home key. 
Turn signals are keypad one, two. Hazard lights are keypad two. All right, so it looks like we go to the keypad for most of our lights. Control F for high beam. All right, so we want to put the beacon lights on while we're driving down the road. Um, yeah, so we'll just wait for traffic here. And then we'll... All right. Well, let's just kind of take the tractor out for a spin. We might have to go... Whoa! <laughs> uh, we might have to go back to uh, the diner and get another cheeseburger while we wait. Because, you know, that was... We burned some calories, you know, trying to trying to figure out how much money we was going to spend on our tractor here. Uh, we could call our wife, too, and just say, you know, tell her that we got a, a tractor. But I don't know if I want to do that yet because the next thing she's going to say is, okay, and are you making money with it? And it'll be like, uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> We're working on it, though. So we'll call our wife later. Um, okay, so this was the, the cheeseburger place. Actually, you know, there was a... There was an, another spot over that way, uh, back down the street there, where we could get some some tacos, I think it was. So since we already had a cheeseburger, let's have some tacos. Well, oh, this is so neat, man. I'm loving this. Okay, anybody coming that way? Nope. Uh, let's put our turn signal on. And maybe get in the right lane. <laughs> okay, well, 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 okay. I'm doing all this with mouse and keyboard too, by the way, you guys. Uh, I do have a controller. If uh, if I have a lot of trouble with mouse and keyboard, we might switch to the controller. But let's. Uh, oh, uh, is it? Wait, is this the taco place? What is this? That's a toy store. No, we don't want to go to the toy store. I thought I saw a taco place down here. There we go. Mi familia. Okay, let's go to Mi familia. We're gonna get ourselves a taco while we wait for a contract to become available. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing something else uh, to make that make a contract become available, or if we just have to wait for time. So, anyways, all right, guys, I'm gonna go in here and have myself a couple tacos and maybe a coke or something, and uh, you know, I'll, we'll be back later when a contract becomes available. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I spent some time uh, just going through the help menu and actually read everything in there. Not that I'm going to remember all of it, but, uh, you know, it was helpful to do that. Uh, so now we have some contracts that are available. Uh, this fertilizing one is, uh, gives us the most uh, money. Uh, so that means we're going to need a spreader and a front weight for our tractor. And it's, it says we can use whatever type of fertilizer uh, we want to use. Okay, so now that we know what we're going to do... Um, uh, oh, I guess we have to accept the contract, don't we? Whoops. Um, so fertilizing, accept contract, which is space. And I guess we've accepted it, right? Oh, looks like we accidentally accepted both of these. That's from the same dude, uh, but not the same field. Okay, that's fine. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll do both of these for him since it's the same dude. Uh, okay, so um, let's do the fertilizing one first because that's going to pay us the most money. So this is going to be on field 31, and that should be on here somewhere. Field 31. These are all 30s over here. Oh, right here. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty big size field there. Okay. Um, and we're that's right, really close to where we are too. So we just head on out and go back down the road this way uh, to the west, and it'll be right there. Uh, okay. So now we know what we're doing. Um, let's go ahead and hop out of our tractor here, and we're just gonna lease the equipment for these contracts for now. Um because I don't want to buy, you know, stuff until I know, you know, what we're going to do a little more long term, especially once we get our own land. So it just makes sense to lease right now. Um, you know what, though? Can't we, can't we do the, don't they provide their own equipment? We just get a bonus if we use our own.
Yeah, it says use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward reduced by 325. And any type of fertilizer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here. And we want to go to tools and we want to find spreaders. Uh, no, that's spaders. Fertilizer spreaders. There we go. Okay. And then um, it looks like these four are the only options we have. This one's the least expensive. So looks like that one does lime and fertilizer. This is an Amazon. Amazon, Amazon. Um, this has a 42 meter spread. This has only a 12 to 18. 42 meter. Oh, okay. So this one has a much wider spread, but it has less capacity, quite a bit less capacity than this one here. Um, and I, I don't know how much fertilizer it's going to take. So I think I'd rather, especially since the field's not that far away, I think I'd rather do the smaller one just so we don't over purchase fertilizer. Because again, I'm not really sure what we need. Okay, so let's lease this guy. Um, lease it for $12.75. It'll cost us $250 per work day, $525 per work hour. Okay. And then um, now what we want to do is we want to go to fertilizer. Oh, look at that. There's a new tractor up there for sale. That's expensive. That's probably a large tractor. Olives, grapes, animals, wood, wood chips, fertilizer. Okay. Objects, big bags, pallets. Uh, okay, so this is solid fertilizer. It's 1,000 liters. That's seeds, lime, wheat. I can't get this. Um, There we go. Oat, pig food, road salt. So I guess this is what we want to buy, right? Corn, collie, solid fertilizer? Big bag pellets. How much fertilizer is in this? That's also a thousand liters. Does it matter which type of fertilizer we get? Does it have to be? That's liquid fertilizer. Bales. Oh, you can buy bales from here. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to here for just a second. Does this indicate? It says 3,200 liters. It doesn't, as far as I can tell, it doesn't say we have to have a, any specific type of fertilizer. So we could probably just use any, any kind of dry fertilizer with this. So hopefully that's correct. So why don't we go, I guess, with a big bag. And how much does that give us? That gives us 1,000 liters. All right, let's buy this. And... um. Man, this is gonna that's gonna cost us eighteen hundred and twenty bucks. Amount. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, this is the price uh, when we add extra. So wow, okay. So we're gonna have to pay uh quite a bit of our own money just to buy this. I um I hope. Yeah, I don't know how much a profit we're going to make, but let's just do it. Hopefully, we can do the whole thing with just this one. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope this is correct. I hope this is correct. Okay, so we got the fertilizer. We got the spreader. I think that's all we need, right? Okay. Here we go. Our first job, guys. Our first job here in farming sim. I hope I didn't screw something up. Okay, so let's get the spreader hooked up. 
So what we have to do here, I believe, is back up to the spreader. And it should show us... Uh, yeah, okay, so attach it with Q. Great. Okay, so you first need to fill the tool. Partial width. So it looks like there's some uh, a way that we can adjust the width of this. So open cover is in. And do I just back up to the or pull up to the bag? I'm not sure how this works. Oh, don't run it over. Okay, R says refill fertilizer spreader. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's filling it up. Okay, so we have we have a a, a thousand liters right in there. I think. All right, let's close the cover. Oh yeah, it tell. Okay, so it's just down on the right hand side by the speedometer that we have a thousand liters and it's 31 percent full man i hope that's enough because we have, if we have to buy more we're going to pay more money to fertilize this thing than, than we're going to make off of it maybe i shouldn't have taken this job i don't know <laughs> like i said i'm <laughs> i'm new to all of this man okay let's head over to the field Oh man, it's much quieter riding in the cab. This digital steering's a little wonky. Okay, so that's our field there. I think that's a cotton field, right? All right let's look on the map again here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're at field 31. Now, again, my concern here is Can I just drive right in these crops? It seems like I'm going to crush a bunch of them, but how else am I supposed to do this, you know? And I don't, I'm not sure how wide this is going to be. Okay. So, turn on spreader. I'm going to start here, I guess. And try and stay in between the plants as best as I can. Okay, so turn on the spreader, which is B. Um, lower the spreader, which is V. And then go. Oh, there it goes, okay. Am I supposed to have it lowered though? Okay, I have a feeling like I'm not far enough over. Okay, let's um, turn it off for a second and lift it. Seems to me like for these crops, I should have it up a little higher. Okay, let's get over here a little further closer to the edge. Try and stay in between the plants. Now, can I turn this on without having to lower it? Yes. Okay, I'm still... Okay, I'm too far. I'm too far. Uh, too far off the edge, so we got to go... I, I just couldn't tell when it was lowered down. So let's go right about to here, I'm thinking. Get him... Oh, I'm going to crush a plant there. Well, I don't know if I can do anything about that. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, you guys. Okay, I think that's I think that's making it to the edge. Okay, so um, three is cruise control. And then one is slower. I don't know how fast I'm supposed to go. Am I crushing those crops? Oh no, they're okay, okay.
Um, I hope this is getting to the edge. No, no, no. We want to keep it up. I think it is, but it's hard to say, hard to say for sure. All right, let's turn that off. All right, so I, I think that went okay. <laughs> this is really actually kind of hard to do because I can't see, you know, where, where I've done, you know, what I've done so far. Um, so I'm just gonna have to guess, and hopefully it's uh, adequate, right? So let's get lined up here. I don't want to run over any plants. And then um, start the cruise control and turn on the spreader. See, I'm not, again, I'm not sure what speed I'm supposed to be going at either. It looks like I'm running right over the top of these plants, but it doesn't seem to be hurting them. Maybe when you're operating, um, you know, an implement like this that, oh, we can zoom out. That's hell. Oh, that's really helpful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. That's way better. Now I can see what the heck's going on. Um, anyways, maybe it's like when you're operating an implement like this, the crop destruction's turned off. It's only if you inadvertently drove over it or something. Oh man, that helps a ton. So I think I'm, yeah, I'm I probably could have gone over a little bit more. Um, let's go to here and then turn that off. We don't want to waste any of this fertilizer, man, because it costs us a lot of money. Okay, that helped a little bit. So now I can at least kind of see what we're doing. So it's still a little hard to tell exactly where to go. So I'm just going to have to guesstimate. But having this higher view hel helps quite a bit. Okay, here we go. And I guess I don't have to worry too much about staying right in between the crops because, again, it, it appears to me that that is really shooting out there quite a ways. It appears to me that you don't damage the crops when you're running an implement like this. I'm probably wasting a crap ton of fertilizer too, but this is my first time. I have a feeling like we're going to have to go get some, yeah, I'm sure we're going to have to go get some more now. But I'm, I'm sort of kind of looking to see how far out it's going so I kind of know where to come back in on the other side. Okay, let's turn around this way. We do, we can kind of see our tracks from before. Okay. This is so fun, you guys. I <laughs> really enjoyed myself. Super neat. Yeah, I, I definitely, I think I could have gone wider than I've gone. Uh, and we're probably going to have to go, unfortunately, buy some more fertilizer to finish the job. But here's what it is. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the end before it runs out. I don't think we are. Or if we do, it's just barely. No, I don't think we are. All right. Well, then this doorway right in front of me is where we left off. And then um, we'll just have to kind of ba maybe back up in to there okay so I'm using that doorway and then we'll we'll just back up about a quarter of the way into the field when we start over again uh, definitely the rest uh, we've already done over half of the field so one more bag will do the trick we're gonna lose some money on this but that's just the way it goes I guess all right let's go back to the shop and get some more fertilizer it's too bad I couldn't buy like a half a bag So probably the crop destruction is just if you run over crops when you're not running an implement. That would be my guess. We're not going to test that theory because if I ruin somebody's crops, I'm sure I'm going to have to pay for it, and I can't afford that right now. Man, this tractor scoots. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's hop out here. It, it's very difficult for a noob like me to, you know, to know how much you need for something like this. Um, it does, I, you know, I don't see any option for anything smaller. Well, actually, is there an option for something smaller? Big bag pallets, I would think. See, that's 1920 It's the same. It's just a different way of doing it, but it's the same cost. So there's no difference there. Uh, what about just normal pallets? Well, that's liquid fertilizer anyways. So that's not going to work for us. Oh! I wonder if we could buy it in bags. Oh, okay, okay. So how much does this give us? That gives us 750 liters. For for 1400 bucks. Okay, what was this again? 1820 for 1000. Uh So we could save uh, we could save fourteen hundred or uh, four hundred bucks if we go with this and seven fifty liters, and that we might be able to make it happen. Uh, okay, let's try this. I hope this. <laughs> I hope this isn't a mistake. You can fetch it. Yeah, fetch your purchase at the shop. Okay, so let's hop in here. And then I think we just do the same thing. We just pull up right next to it. Oh, and actually opened up the thing automatically. Okay, and then refill with R. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's cool. So, so it's good to know we can buy it in a little bit smaller quantity. Awesome. All right, let's head on back and see if we can finish this job with 750. I mean, we should be able to. I just got to get my spreads correct man I'm noticing the durability on the tractors going down quickly I wonder if it's because I'm driving it a little too fast it seems like that went down a lot just for a little bit of stuff you know All right, so what we're going to do is get out to this view. We're going to line up on this door again right here. And we're going to back up into the field to, I don't know, we were probably about here-ish, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, turn that off. And I'd say maybe go to here. This field gets, you know, shorter too as we keep heading that direction. So that just means a little less area that we got to do. Oh, control Z changes the work. I see. Okay. I should have noticed that at the beginning. But this is the way width we've started with, so we're going to just stick with it. It's getting out there quite a ways. All right, and this will be our last pass. So we can kind of see our, where our tire tracks are. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that looks like it's it's getting all the way out to the edge.
Oh, nice. It tells us in the upper right-hand corner, contract on field is 91% completed. Okay, cool. I was, I was wondering how, how we know, you know, how we're doing in regards to that. All right, guys. So I, um, I guess I completed this. But I didn't actually complete it. I, I had to take a phone call in real life, so I paused the game. I came back. I went to turn it on, and I realized I was completely out of fertilizer. I thought I had turned it off before then, but maybe not. But it says I've completed it. So let's look at something here. If we go here, income expenditure, vehicle leasing costs, fertilizer costs, where... Okay, where's my payment? April, May, August. Do, 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 do. Property, miscellaneous wage payment contract income. It doesn't. It doesn't show that there. All right. So to release that, let's hop out and return the lease. Uh, so we go to the key and actually, you know what, before we do that, let's just make sure. Oh, okay. So this one pays a lot for fertilizer. I'll bet, I'll bet you field 70 is hum humongous though. Um, but we've already got the equipment leased we'd return it and then release it then we got to pay another fee on top of everything <coughs> all right where's field 70 it's big oh my goodness okay <coughs> it is big but it does pay a decent amount of money but that's gonna you know take i probably could have done this with one bag if i would if i would have done it right the first time but it's probably going to take us, I'd say, two and a half to maybe even three full bags to do this enormous thingy. But 12000 bucks, man, that's, uh, we got to figure, though, that we're going to have to pay, you know, sink half of that into fertilizer. Hmm. Can I take this contract while well, I still have this active one. It doesn't look like there's a um a time limit. The other thing we could do is is rent a cultivator, just go knock this one out really quick and then keep the you know the fertilizer thing for the next run. All right guys, I'm back. Um there was um I completely missed this, and I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. Um, but when you complete a contract, there's an option down here uh, for for completing it, and then that's when you get paid. So, uh, uh, so now I got paid my sixty two forty four, and then we spent about um, so f we spent about forty five hundred dollars on the lease and the fertilizer costs. So it, so we basically made a, around 1700 bucks profit. So again, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, we could have probably made more if I wouldn't have had to buy the extra fertilizer, but, uh, or maybe we would have, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm too new to the game to know exactly how all that works. But the important thing is, is that we made a profit. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there we go. All right. Now this, if we, if we do this job next, um, I, I'm really tempted to take this job too. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, so if it, we're going to spend half of that just buying the fertilizer, but still, I mean, that's if that's the way it works, we're still going to get a uh, six thousand plus if you use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward. Reduced by okay, so is this saying that use your own equipment or Lease equipment for a reward reduced by 2584. Make sure to fill the tool with solid fertilizer. Is this saying that we get less money if we lease as opposed to purchase? Not quite sure what that means exactly. 
Um, but let's hop out of here and go look and see. Um, if we go, I'm not sure if I should turn this back in or not. If we go to fertilizer spreaders. Uh, how do I see what that's costing me per day? Okay, vehicle leasing costs. Is that the daily charge or... Um, hmm, I don't know. I should have paid more attention to that, I suppose. Oh, actually, you know what we could do? Let's go here and go to fertilizer spreaders. And if we lease, okay, here we go. I'm not going to actually do this. So it says 250 per work day or two or 525 per work hour. Are they saying if I lease it for an entire day, I only have to pay 250? That does, I don't understand how that works. All right, well, let's not do that. I guess I'm going to hang on to this for now because we might want to use it on that bigger field. Um, okay, well, anyways, we need to look at cultivators to do this next job, and I want to see how much it's going to cost me to get a cultivator. So these are our options. This little 1,200 job is going to cost us 600 to lease it, so let's let's do that. Okay, and then our field that we're going to for this job is, uh, let's go back here, 57. It's this field right here. Okay, so that's um, that's just across the street. Right, okay. Cool, let's get that one knocked out next. Attach that thing up, lift her up in the air, let's go. Okay, so I think what we'll do, let's wait for that car to go by. And uh, then we'll just start at that corner of the field. Because, right, it is, let me just double check, it is the field right across the street. Yep, 56, right there. Okay. We should be able to get this knocked out quickly. Um, I think I want to go this way. Let's, yeah, let's zoom out a little bit. Get her lined up. That looks good. Okay, so uh, lower cultivator V and... Let's do this. Oh man, the visuals and the sound effects on this are just fantastic. Feels so realistic. Okay guys, well, let's get this field cultivated. All right guys, I'm back with an update. Man, this is taking a long time. So, yeah, uh, note to self. Next time you take a cultivating job on a big field like this, get a bigger cultivator. <laughs> this is taking forever. Uh, that's all right, though. I'm having lots of fun with it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to get the hang of this, trying to figure out where to place the tractor so I get, you know, maximum coverage. And it seems to me like... Yeah, I messed up there a little bit, but what what you want to do for this uh, with this cultivator is get the tractor's outside front tire just a little ways inside of the uh, the line here, uh, right about here-ish, and that seems to be the sweet spot there. 
uh, because it will reach out just a little bit further beyond the edge of the tractor's front wheel. Uh, but anyway, you can see that it's 10.30 at night. I did have a couple of in real life interruptions though too, but uh, this is just taking a while. Uh, definitely next time I do something like this on a field this size, we've, we've got to get a bigger cultivator because, you know, the bigger cultivator is going to cost us more money, but time is money too. And my goodness, this is taking a long time. <laughs> So anyway, it's uh it's uh a learning experience, man. And I'm I, I am having a lot of fun with this. So uh, I'll bring you guys back uh when the field is uh finished. It shouldn't be too much longer than, than now. I'm thinking we're probably about sixty-five to seventy percent done at this point. Um and then we'll whoops. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm busy yakking here and not pressing the right buttons. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys back uh, when we're finished to do our cash in and then we'll wrap up uh, our first episode here. All right, so midnight just rolled around and we have uh, loan interest and vehicle leasing costs that just came out. Uh, does that show up here? It should. Yeah, the loan interest comes out there, so that's not too bad, 222. And vehicle leasing costs. I guess. Yeah, it must just come out of here. It'd be kind of cool if there was a way to um itemize it by day instead of just totals, you know. Maybe there is, I don't know, but I don't see that on here. Uh anyway, all right. So I've been um I've been trying this in first person just to kind of get used to that. It's actually really fun in first person because it feels so realistic. Uh, you know, with the tractor bouncing around and everything. Uh, but I'm still trying to kind of get used to, uh, you know, lining things up correctly. So you, it seems like you kind of want the hood of the tractor right on the edge of the area that you're plowing or in this case cultivating. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, but just just really cool man I can, I can see why this game is so has such high ratings it's just feels really great uh, you know they've done such a good job of making it a feel pretty realistic so we are just about done I just got the message right before I brought you guys back that uh, we're at 90 percent finished so we should be getting pretty close to being done this tractor is such a fast machine too man i have to like <laughs> it's like really has a lot of power um so if if i don't cut the cruise control down on it you know when i'm turning corners it just rips around those corners all right so let's see if we can wait oh we don't even have our thing down okay i was gonna say that doesn't feel like we're plowing cultivating it's a little bit difficult to tell when you're in the cab if that's down uh, you can feel it you know once you start pulling though and I guess the little icon in the upper left hand corner shows that too oh look at that I'm sitting here yakking and messing up a little bit I, I kind of got my um, you know the feel for where to go in third person but I'm not quite as tuned into it in first person yet but essentially like I said you kind of want the edge of the hood of the tractor right on the end of where you're plowing with this particular implement and you know obviously that's going to be different for what it, what you're using and how wide it is and stuff but we are just about finished here so just a few more passes and then we'll be done and then we can go go to bed man it's late we've been working hard today Yeah, look at the way this thing bounces around. It's so realistic. Makes my kidneys hurt just looking at it. <laughs> okay. So, lower the plow. So I guess, too, you know, once you cultivate, it does expose a bunch of these rocks. So then you're supposed to come through with a rock picker and grab those. But, you know, we'll do that all that stuff when we get our own field. I'm not even precisely sure how that works. Um, I'm assuming at some point something will come up for sale and it'll let us know. And then we can go, you know, look at the land and purchase it. That's looking pretty good there. I guess that's how that works anyways. But 
enjoying the game so far. Absolutely enjoying the game so far. Okay, just a few more passes here. Oh, it says the contract's finished. But it's not finished. What's up with that? I wasn't finished fertilizing the other field when it said that was done too. Hmm. I wonder if it gives you just like a little margin for error or something. Uh, I'm going to finish it anyways because it's not done. <laughs> we got to finish the doggone thing. I missed a spot back there too. So yeah, let's finish it. Let's, let's do this right, man. We might be new and inefficient, but at least we can have take a little bit of pride in a job well done. Oh, I picked up the cultivator too soon there, but we'll catch it on this pass. Did we get it? Yeah, okay. It is it is easier to do this in third person. No, there's no doubt about it, but it's just it's kind of fun to do it in first person because it it feels like, you know, the real deal. Now what you need is you need a um like a high-end I don't know, you know, gaming booth, you know, with force feedback and that sort of thing and have your your seat bouncing around. That would be cool. I'm sure something like that probably exists too. But stuff like that is really expensive. If you really wanted to get that realism feel. Ah, we missed a tiny spot there. Not a problem. We will be able to fix that. So we just got to get this little spot here. And this little spot here. I think we got it. Yeah, and this spot here. That is it. We are done, guys. Woo-wee. That took a long time. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was fun. All right, let's take our tractor uh, back to the shop, which is fortunately right across the street here. And uh, actually, I'm just going to make sure no cars are coming. Can't see. We've got a little blind spot there. All right, let's come to a full stop, drop that off. Okay, uh, let's cut the engine and the lights and hop out. Oh, we got a flashlight, nice. Let's look at our, our rig here, is it? Yeah, it's all dirty looking now. <laughs> it should be though. After all the work it did today. Sure liking the tractor, though. It's a beautiful piece of machinery, man. Beautiful piece of machinery. What's this look like? Yeah, it looks like it's been through a field today, too. Cool. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And actually, here, before we do anything else, let's uh, complete our contract. So collect the money. Boom. We got that done. Um, this is a little, a very little cultivation thingy. Um, and it's only 1500 bucks. It's on field 37. Where is that at? It's gotta be, it's gotta be a small one because of the money. 34, 37. Uh, Here. Yeah, that's a really small one, and we could probably knock that one out pretty quick. It is a little far away, though. Um, or here's a bigger one. Oh, uh, you know what? Are these guys... I, I think they're actually showing... I completely didn't pay attention to this. They're actually showing you what implement to use, <coughs> I guess, that they're recommending. For that, I should have paid attention to that because I probably had a bigger one on the field we just did. 
Uh, looks like that fertilizing job for 12,000 is no longer available. Uh, but we could do this cultivation job in the morning. Um, or we could even just knock this one out really quick while we still have the little cultivator because that won't take us long at all to do. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, guys, we got to wrap up this episode here. So OG is tired. Uh, he made some money today, though. So, you know, we made some made a profit off of our, our two jobs. And I think we, you know, we didn't do them, the jobs so much in a timely manner. But I think we did them right, though. Uh, aside from the fact that I bought more fertilizer than I probably needed to. But, hey, y'all got to start somewhere, right? Uh, so, OG's going to go uh, hop in the tractor, go back down the road, and um, spend the night at the motel in town since we don't have a place to stay yet. And then in the morning, we'll get back up and continue uh, here in Farming Simulator taking our jobs. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to return this yet. Um, or maybe not even this yet until I decide, you know, what jobs we're going to do tomorrow. Cause this one would still be good, you know, to, to do that, that small field, but man, oh man, that was a mistake. You see, <laughs> you see this one of the big field that took so long, but Hey, live and learn, right guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.